Good morning. It's March 10th. I'm Tex. Wife Dawn. She's inside the RV there. Or running around outside there. However, um, this is a update to people traveling over this way. 84. Um, Connecticut. And uh, let's see here. Uh, Southington rest area. Yeah, it says South Southington rest area over there on the building. Let's see if I can zoom in on that here. Yeah, Southington rest area. There is a TA truck stop that is right before here. Um, and when I say right before here, a half a mile right before here. We were sitting at last night in the front parking lot. Um, we arrived there about 6.30 and we had made ourselves comfortable, got everything situated, watched TV, went to sleep. At 3.42 this morning, an employee comes out and knocks on our door. Along with the white vans and the red van behind me and a few other cars and so forth and told us that we have to pay for overnight parking. Um, the irritating part was at 3.42 a.m. We done been there. If they wanted overnight parking, then they should have had somebody come out there and, and monitor how many how long the car was sitting there well before 3.42 a.m. Um, I consider this reckless endangerment. No, you wake somebody up and make them drive to leave the parking lot. Okay. Um, this is not cool. This TA... Uh, the when I asked him where's it posted he pointed to his clipboard and he said a bulletin board inside That's where it's posted Like we're supposed to go read their bulletin board inside All right um, But yeah, so they told us that we had to pay to stay or um, We had to leave and Paying to stay we would have done that with the exception of the fact that they woke us up at 3.42 a.m. So, I'm putting this out. I'm going to title it. Transit America. Um, reckless endangerment to drivers. And I will definitely say I'm not going to stop at a TA anymore. Ever. Uh, we were going to get fuel there. We pulled out of, the par out of that parking lot and went down to the Shell station to get fuel. So they didn't make no money off of us. Um, we used their bathrooms three times. When we first arrived, when we, no, before we went to bed, about 10, 10.30. And then um, when we woke up. So, and their bathrooms sucked in the first place because they had trash all over the floor. They stank. Um, I mean, all the different things. So the point of, that I'm trying to make here is that for anybody else coming out here, and what the guy said was that TAs all across America are doing this. So they're going to start charging the park in their parking lot. Uh, let's put it this way. TA will no longer have my business. And since we spend thousands of dollars a freaking month in fuel and so forth, they have no need for it. Um, as far as I'm concerned. Now, could we pull it out back? Yeah, but that's all back in parking. And I all and I told the guy, I that backing into one of your parking spots is impo is impossible to do when you're towing a car. He said, "No, it ain't. You can tow a car and back it up." You want to argue with me? Okay. The front wheels are free access, so that means when you go to back up a anything that you're towing that has, even if you're towing a wagon, front wheels are free access. Then therefore, it will not back up. The way you want it to it will turn its wheels the way it wants to and you will have an incident so yes um but there you go but yeah just to give you a quick update this is not cool ta america no you're no longer an america fuel station first i'm sorry no uh you're bought by bp gas i don't know who owns bp gas i don't know if it's american or not i really don't give a shit anymore Okay, as far as I'm concerned, y'all can go screw yourself and I'm done. So, and 
That's all there is to it. I'm Tex Nolan. DTN Living Life. Subscribe, like, notifications bell, whatever you gotta do. But hey, this is it for TA Transit. I'm done with them.